The New York Jets got some help from some former Jets this weekend. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video, and today we'll be talking about the Jets getting some help from some former players this weekend. Before we get started, just wanted to mention you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary NY. And if you haven't already, please make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast wherever it is that you get your podcast. You can call in and leave me a question. I'll try to get to it on the show. So the Jets were on the bye, which is a positive because you can't lose when you're on the bye week. I know I'm sure you've probably seen that joke a million times or heard it from every single friend who's not a Jet fan. I get it. I'm sorry I had to do it again. But the Jets had about as productive a bye week as you can have when you consider that two teams, the Panthers and Seahawks, who are very close ties to the New York Jets in terms of draft capital, both lost and helped the Jets' draft stock improve dramatically this week. So after week six of the NFL season, the New York Jets hold the sixth overall pick, which is their own. With Seattle's loss, they now hold the 10th overall pick. They also have pick 38 in round two. And with Carolina's loss, thanks to the Sam Darnold trade, 46th overall. So that is four top 50 picks for those keeping track at home. Now, a lot of people online like to clown the Jets, which I get it. Easy target, low hanging fruit, all that stuff. And with Sam Darnold's quick start to the season through the first three weeks, you were getting, the, you know, catapulted junk all over it was it was gross if you were online and uh, well that has really quieted down as Darnold had himself two turnovers yesterday he had a really nice drive to force overtime but that's the frustrating thing with Sam Darnold he has drives like that and moments where it's like wow this guy really looks like he can play the position to have some talent and then he makes some throws like the first throw of the game was an interception you're going what the hell was that but now he has seven interceptions on the season, two fumbles lost. If you want to just count fumbles in general and turnovers, I think he's up to 12, which is leading the league now at this point. It's really gotten ugly the last couple of weeks, but specifically his performance against the Minnesota Vikings was, again, one that helped the Jets. Uh, it's, it is what it is at this point, whether you who you wanted to, if you wanted to keep Sam or, or whatever, but... He he was not good outside of the, the final regulation drive, and because of that, his team lost. If he played like how he did late in the fourth quarter, like he did the entirety of the game, then they win that one going away. He had 99 passing yards going into the fourth quarter in year four. I, I don't know what we're doing here, what that conversation's like anymore, but on top of Sam Darnold not playing well, Robbie, who is... My guy, love Robbie Anderson, but man, he had a couple of drops, just has been playing well. Uh, and I mean, the connection with Sam just isn't isn't there right now. It just isn't. Uh, outside of the really big play in week one, Sam hasn't been able to get the ball down the field to him, uh, which is his best, what he's best at. But just overall, a couple of weird, uh, you know, uncharacteristic drops from Robbie. He's usually someone who's pretty good at being a shorthanded guy, but just... Yeah, it did, did not look good this past week, and because of that, they lost to the Minnesota Vikings in overtime. And obviously, that helps the Jets. Every loss that Carolina or Seattle has improves the draft stock, so this is a good thing. And Seattle. Oh, this one just brings me joy, and it's because of Jamal and how much of a clown he was leaving and what everything he did trying to force his way out. Good player, of course. He's a really good player. He was never worth what the Jets got for him in return. Thank you, Joe Douglas. But he had a game-changing interception go directly off his face mask. I mean, just beautiful stuff. Zero sacks all year. Zero interceptions since being traded to the Seattle Seahawks. Through six games this year, Seattle is 2-4. and four, And the Jets now have a top 10 pick because of that. And on top of it, Geno Smith... Who well, I know, I, was, I wasn't necessarily a fan of Geno as, as a member of the Jets, but I will say he's been really good as a post-Jet guy. And what I mean by that is he doesn't like go back and clown the Jets like a Jamal, for example. He's, you know, he's talked respectfully about his time as a member of the New York Jets, and clearly it didn't go as he wanted. But at least with Geno, I will give him that he has been you know, respectful about his time. And I do really appreciate that uh, because like I said earlier, it's easy to just clown on the Jets to clown on them. It's a dumb narrative that a, a lot of 
players and just media members and fans like to do. But Geno Smith overtime fumble, it's just everything was coming up green this week, whether it was the Carolina game with Darnold imploding for the third week in a row, Robbie Anderson dropping the ball, Jamal Adams dropping a couple of interceptions, Geno Smith overtime fumble. Moral of the story, Jets have four top five, uh, four top five, can you imagine? Four top 50 picks in the NFL draft in 2022. Yes, there are still, what, 12 games left to this season for the Jets. I'm not going full off season mode, but when the Jets don't play and you have a massive change in the direction of where these draft picks are being looked at or where they are projected to be, I'm talking about it. Yes, this upcoming week, the Jets are playing the New England Patriots. More coverage of that game throughout the week, but just wanted to get you up to date with what happened over the weekend and what it meant for the New York Jets. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Please make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll talk to you next time.